Hi everyone, my name is Amy. I'm an environmental educator at the Environmental Learning Center in Vero Beach, Florida. Today, I'm inviting you to take a closer look. Want to build your biology skills without even leaving your backyard? Try this activity to hone your observation skills and learn how scientists study animal behavior. Ethology is a study of animal behavior, and one tool that scientists use to study animal behavior is an ethogram. An ethogram helps scientists study behavior in a systematic way in order to have an accurate understanding of what a particular animal does. There are several ways to conduct the ethogram, but you can think about our approach today as being similar to taking snapshots of an animal's behavior over time. This can give you a better understanding of what behaviors an animal does, as well as when and how often an animal does a particular behavior. This can help us answer a lot of important questions. How much time in a day does an animal spend resting? How often does an animal forage for food? How long does the an animal spend foraging or eating? When doing an ethogram, the person that is observing the animal, in this case you, records information over preset, evenly spaced time intervals. For example, you might choose to record what an animal is doing every five minutes. By using preset time intervals, scientists make sure that the data collected is unbiased and accurately represents what the animal was doing. Think about it. If you only wrote down when an animal was doing something active, like eating, but the animal actually spent most of its time resting, that would not be an accurate record of the animal's behavior. Ready to get started? The first step is determining which animal you'd like to observe. You might start with the animals you see frequently in your backyard or local park. Don't have access to a local park? You could select a pet or even use a live stream from a zoo, aquarium, or nature center. You will need your ethogram data sheet, a pencil, and a timing device. An example ethogram data sheet is provided, but feel free to modify the ethogram to fit the animal you select. For example, if you select a fish to observe, you might want to include some behaviors that are specific to fish. When completing your ethogram, remember to keep a close eye on the animal you selected and only record the animal behavior that is occurring at your selected time interval. For example, if you are recording behavior during five minute time intervals and the animal is moving for most of the time since your last record, but started feeding right at your time interval, you would only record feeding to assure that data collected is not biased. After you've completed your ethogram, take a look at your results. What have you learned from your observations? What do you think the most common behavior of the animal is? The least common? What new questions do you now have about your animal's behavior? Observation is a key scientific skill, and observing animals takes patience and practice. Remember, whenever you're observing wild animals, to be respectful and give them their space. Post your observations in the comments below and have fun honing your ethology skills.